Hey everyone, my name's Fred. I would want to make this video as part of Spinal Cord Injury Awareness Month, which I am aware was last month, but I kind of missed it. So I wanted to make a couple of videos about um, what it's like living with my spinal cord injury. Uh, first thing I want to say is that all spinal cord injuries are different. Uh, I'm a paraplegic. My injury is at the T11 level, and it's what's called an incomplete injury, which means that my spinal cord wasn't severed, more just like squashed. It means that I can't use my legs. I'm a full-time wheelchair user. That's the quite obvious one. But there's two things I want to touch on in this video. One of which is basically probably my biggest secret ever, which I didn't want anyone to ever find out about. Um, so I'll be revealing that. So the two things I want to touch on in this video is bladder control and bowel control. Because... The legs obviously don't work properly, that's why I'm in a wheelchair, and that's the thing that most people think when they see someone in a wheelchair like me, the legs don't work. So I'm gonna leave that one uh, for a minute. I wanna talk about the two things that also don't work properly, because they're below the level of my injury. So T11 is around about the belly button area, so anything below that level of injury uh, doesn't function properly. The spinal cord is essentially like a, an extension of the human brain, an extremely complex like cable of information, like allowing the brain to communicate with the body, like how I can move my fingers like this because my injury is so low, like, um, and how I used to be able to move my legs so effortlessly. Uh, so this video is aimed really more at able-bodied people that wanna le learn more about spinal cord injuries People that do already have spinal cord injuries, this will probably be very common knowledge. Okay, so let's get started. Bladder control. So I can't wee regularly like a normal person or like I used to. Um, I just used to go to the toilet, stand in front of the toilet, have a wee, that's it. So my bladder sphincter doesn't release. Um, it's to do with my spinal cord injury. Um, so what I have to do is I use a, a catheter it's quite a handy little tool. I just uh, take it out. It's got a tube about this long <laughs> and I stick it in my urethra. And I know a lot of you thinking like, ooh, crikey, I bet that's painful. Actually, it's not. Um, it, I've done it, oh, crikey, I've been injured for 10 months, so many, many times. And it's not too bad. It just, it just goes straight in, it goes into my bladder, it empties my bladder into a little sack, and then I empty that sack into the toilet and then I dispose of it, and it's it's very easy. Uh, it's a little bit inconvenient because you have to um, make sure you're very clean and sterile. It makes me very susceptible to urinary tract infections or UTIs or bladder infections, which are very unpleasant once you get them. Um, you have to take a course of antibiotics if anyone's ever had one. It's they, You know how unpleasant it is. Um, so yeah, I have to basically carry, make sure at all times I have my catheters, my um, like alcohol wipes, my, you know, make sure I'm clean and sterile before I do it. Um, so that is like a little bit of extra baggage. I've always got to make sure that everywhere I go, I can, I can use a catheter. So yeah, that's how I go for a wee. It's inconvenient for sure, but it's also kind of convenient because if you think about it, um, I think, I think I'm quite lucky to live in 2019 where this sort of technology exists. Like each one is very sterile. You slide it in, bam, you go like it, and then you dispose of it. So it, it keeps my body healthy. That's how I have to get rid of my, my urine. Uh, I can't wee on my own, unfortunately. So number two, bowel control. Now this was my most closely guarded secret for a long time. And that actually pretty much up until now, like because I'm sharing it with you. The only per person that knows about it is Lou, my girlfriend, and a few doctors and nurses. I haven't told anyone this, but I'm gonna share it with you now. Um, so I use a technique called manual stimulation, which means I put on a rubber glove, get a little bit of lube, I put my finger inside my bum, and I kind of loosen my sphincter manually and stimulate my bowel so it starts moving and the poo comes down and comes out into the toilet. And it sounds pretty gross and it was really weird. Like when I first started doing it, I was like, oh God, this is so, I can't believe I've got to do this. You know, it's hard enough coming to terms with the fact that your legs don't work. You know, you've got to like, um, 
adjust your whole lifestyle and then you're like, oh, crikey, I've got to put my fucking finger in my bum, you know? So, yeah, it's really embarrassing and I genuinely thought that if people ever found out, it would they would, like, take the piss out of me and... But, you know what? I just wanted to let everyone know that that's what I do. I mean... I have to eat food to be healthy and in order for me to eat food I have to go for a poo uh, if I don't go for a poo I get like really constipated it happened to me recently um, and I had to have some really embarrassing procedures to unblock my colon so that this is just what I have to do it sounds pretty weird but once you get used to it like I can do it in like 10 minutes 15 minutes max in fact I think last night I was watching a YouTube video on uh, my phone and six and a half minutes into the video, I'd finished and I was ready to go. So it's quick, it's easy. Um, it's not that messy, really. You just get used to it. But I was so embarrassed about this. Like every time, like I'd have friends over, I'd empty the bin in the bathroom. I would hide the gloves, hide the lube, make sure no one would ever find out. You know, like just make people think that I just pooed normally. But um, it's below the level of my injury. It's affected. Um, so that's just what I have to do unfortunately it's I'm not massively stoked on doing it it's not something that I particularly enjoy doing but because I've done it so many times now I do it twice a day I do it once when I wake up in the morning and once before I go to bed at night it's just it's just something that I do and it, it's sort of become normal now it's just I'm just go for a poo do it and and that's it it's easy uh, other people with spinal cord injuries, uh, like I say, all spinal cord injuries are different. So a lot of people can use a lot of different techniques. In fact, as far as spinal cord injuries go, I feel quite fortunate enough to be able to do it in like six and a half minutes sometimes. You know, like a lot of people it can take, I've heard it can take up to an hour or even longer for some people. Um, they use different techniques. Some people use like laxatives or suppositories or stuff like that but for me this is this technique is is quick and it's easy and that's what I do so for those of you that didn't know um, it's not just my legs that don't work it's uh, things below my level of injury so like things below my um, belly button that are affected I'm gonna be releasing another video maybe uh, sometime later this week the other things I'll be touching on, for example, will be uh, leg spasms and sexual function and stuff like that. So yeah, if you guys have any questions that you want me to answer about my spinal cord injury, then you can leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.